One of the first lessons you learn in school is that the world is round. So how can a spherical object have one specific point that marks its center? Well, Sam Argier joins us right now with more on his trip to the official center of the world. Well, Sam, yeah, this is really a place that defies all logic, first of all. You know, when you think of the center of the world, images of a big city, possibly a holy place, or even a natural monument might come to mind. Well, scrap all of those ideas and look outside. This place is right here in the Southern California desert. Tonight, we go cruising California to the far southeast corner of the state, just miles from Yuma, Arizona, and the Mexico border. Off Interstate 8 is a small town named Felicity, a place that has been certified as the official center of the world. A pyramid in the Southern California desert. Unlike Egypt, you won't find mummies or treasure inside, just a bronze plaque marking it the official center of the world. Welcome to Felicity. Jacques Andre Estelle is the mayor and founder of Felicity, California, a small town of about 30 people with one big claim. It's recognized as the official center of the world. It all started with a children's book Estelle wrote over 20 years ago, the fairy tale of a fire-breathing dragon that lived at the center of the world in a town named Felicity. Here in the barren desert, Estelle brought his book to life. We set it based on a children's book. The politicians liked it, passed the law, and quite amazingly, it was a property law, and property laws are in the constitution of some foreign countries. The mayor's native country of France certified his claim, along with Imperial County, California. People flock from all over the world to stand at the spot. Around 20,000 visitors venture into the pyramid each year. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I think I first read about it in the National Geographic. It was in there, I believe. I see them. Yeah, it's awesome. So here's how it works. Once you're inside the pyramid, you want to stand at the exact center of the world. You put your foot right on the dot where the plaque is, close your eyes, and make a wish. Now once you've done that, your tour guide, in our case Norma here, will record the exact time. 3.42 and 25 seconds. <laughs> once you do that, you get to take home a certificate and even get a bumper sticker to let everyone you know that you stood at the official center of the world. If standing at the center of the world wasn't enough, outside the pyramid, you'll find many other features. Over 400 granite slabs are being carved right now illustrating the history of humanity. From pictures of the universe to historic figures like Hippocrates, you could even read about the history of aviation. It's all part of the mayor's vision, creating a town dedicated to remembrance. It's a town dedicated to remembrance because it's, remembrance is a noble concept, and we thought that was a very good uh, uh, thing for a town to do. One of the town's centerpieces, a carved replica of Michelangelo's famous painting, The Creation of Adam. You will even find the arm of God cast in bronze on the town's own sundial, pointing the way to the pyramid. The attractions don't end there. A 25-foot tall section of the original Eiffel Tower stairway stand at the entrance. And if you think that's high, how about this man-made hill? The mayor had 150,000 tons of dirt piled up to build a church with the best views of Felicity. Do people call you crazy for, for building all of this? Is that the reaction you get sometimes? Well, we don't ask for opinion. Well, I might be remembered like a complete idiot for a couple thousand years if we don't do a good job. But, uh, and I wish to say that most people say nice things about this place. One of the nicest things about a trip to Felicity you can let the whole world know that you stood at the center of it. And if you would like to go visit Felicity, California, directions and tour information are listed on their website, felicity.us. Tours are only about $2, and they're given seasonally Thanksgiving through Easter. So, Tom, you still have a few weeks you know, to go out there and check out Felicity and all its glory. Now, the mayor there, he is definitely a person who is comfortable in his own skin. He's very committed to this project, and it seems that he himself invested all the money yeah. into that project. It is, and um, you know, it's amazing. He's a rather humble guy, but he actually brought the sport of parachuting uh, from France to ooh. the U.S. back in the 1950s. And so that's why he made a lot of money right there. But a uh, great man, really yeah. interesting guy. But uh, go, because he goes back to France during uh, the hot summer months. Yeah. So we've got a couple more weeks before he starts. Okay, well, great piece. That's, Thank it's, you, Tom. It's pretty amazing. It's just right around the corner, yep. really.